um, that will drive precious metals much higher. I'm I'm expecting gold to be who knows ten thousand, maybe twenty thousand. I'm expecting silver to go to four hundred, maybe higher. Um, I'm expecting a lot of other commodities, and this is after the bust. This is next cycle. What I believe we'll see in terms of asset categories, obviously equities will be hit hard. Um, bonds will be, um, you know, corporate bonds will be hit hard, particularly lower quality bonds, you know, junk bonds, et cetera, uh, lower investment grade bonds will be hit hard because as the economy deteriorates, so do their balance sheets. And so, you know, there'll be default risk, et cetera. Um, the things that will hold up in, in the bust in, and in the bear market are going to be government guaranteed returns such as treasury bonds. Um, I don't think we have sovereign risk this time around. I think we will after the next cycle, but this time around the, the central banks will have enough money. I mean, because inflation will be turning into deflation, they will have almost limitless ability to print money. So as long as the printing press is there, um, they can fund the FDIC, they can fund um, the government, you know, so there won't be, at least in the U.S., any sovereign default risk. So treasuries will be one of the few places that I think will actually see increased value during the bust. You know, so if the stock market is dropping 80 percent and treasuries are actually positive returns, that's a huge spread. Um, I think the U.S. dollar will be a flight to safety trade. I'm actually bearish on the dollar now. I think the dollar is going down before it goes up. But but when the bust hits, and again, it's still many months away, but when the bust hits, I do think we'll see, as we have in past cycles, and in spite of people's skepticism about the long-term nature, the long-term prospects for the dollar, I think we will see um, investors around the globe flee to the dollar because they still view the U.S. as you know the most secure financial system. So you'll see a, appreciation in the dollar during the bust. So the, the treasuries and the dollar are really the two things that I think can buck the trend. And then, and then obviously um, FDIC, FDIC insured um, inv uh, you know, bank assets, you know, savings accounts um, can, can be trusted to hold up. As long as, as long as you stay within the insurance thresholds, as I said, the FDIC will be funded to whatever is necessary if, if we have bank failures, et cetera. Um, and I think we will have bank failures probably more this time around. Last time it was very focused on the U.S. This time around, I think the bigger pain in the financial system is probably going to be elsewhere because we had our banks, you know, because they got hit so hard in 2008-9, their balance sheets are in better shape than a lot of banks around the world. So... I'd be more worried about the European banks, um, the Asian banks, you know, Australian banks, Canadian banks, because of the leverage in the system in those places. So it uh, doesn't mean we won't have problems in the U.S. banking wise, but I think it'll be less so than last time. I'm I'm bullish on the metals right now. I actually have a, one of the more bullish calls on the street. I'm looking for gold to go to twenty five hundred probably in the next six months. You know, it's um, um, before the bus, let's put it that way. So this cycle, um, and I'm looking for silver to go to 50. So those are pre-bust, you know, peaks that I think we'll see. And then in the bus, they'll pull back. I don't think they'll get hit nearly as hard as the stock market. Um, they might come back to these levels. So if if gold goes from 25, uh, goes to 2500, it might come back to, you know, 1800 type of thing. Um, silver. If silver goes to 50, and it might even go higher than 50, but if it goes to 50, I doubt that it gets back here. You know, it might fall back to 25 or 30. I don't know. Um, but uh, it'll be, you know, less than the equity indexes, I think. And then um, in the next cycle, because inflation is going to be so dominant a theme, you know, with inflation going from what I think will be deflation in the bust, you know, I think we'll have a fast very swift decline in prices during the bust from from negative inflation um say you know in 2023 i think you can get to um 20 20 plus inflation in you know seven seven years so 
um, that will drive precious metals much higher. I'm I'm expecting gold to be who knows ten thousand, maybe twenty thousand. I'm expecting silver to go to four hundred, maybe higher. Um, I'm expecting a lot of other commodities, and this is after the bust. This is next cycle. Before we continue, help us clicking that YouTube like button and subscribe now to our channel. This shows the algorithm that you valued this information. And it helps us spread that message. Sharing is caring. And now, let's continue. Uh, you could see oil at $400 a barrel. Um, you could see copper, at, you know, which is currently you know, in the low fours, could be $20 plus. So, so a lot of big run-ups in commodities next cycle. So commodities and precious metals will be the leaders of the next cycle, like the, like the um, social media stocks and technology were the leaders of this cycle. Healthcare was a leader of this cycle. They won't do so well in inflation. They do much better when interest rates are low and inflation is relatively low. So, and what we see, and I've done this, like I said, for um, almost five decades, and have seen you know many cycles. What you see is every cycle has new leadership. So the leadership of this, this cycle will be laggards next cycle, and you'll have new leadership. So the leadership next cycle I expect to be you know commodities, precious metals, and industrial stocks. I think we're in the last stages of a, a run up in real estate. You can get you know it can probably um, be a little stronger here for a little bit longer, maybe into the spring, um, but following that i think it'll get beat up in the bust um i don't know how badly it's probably not as bad in the u.s as it was in 2008 9 but you know you can come off because there you know there's been pretty healthy run-ups in in housing prices so i i expect it to get hit um, pretty hard in the bust uh and then by you know and then the recovery after the bust um for a year or two you could see a bounce but ultimately, you can have a very stiff headwind if interest rates go from, and I actually think the 10-year can get down to 0% in the bust. So although I'm calling for tightening here that will drive uh, the 10-year up to two and a half in the next few months, in the next three to six months, from there, I think it can go down to zero. So you'll start from a zero base on, and mortgage rates probably be down at 2% or lower. But you'll start there. Uh, in say tw in late 2023, um, but you'll see rates move towards double digits, and I think by 2026 seven they could be at double digits, and by 2029, you know, you could be looking at 15 percent mortgage rates. So that's going to be a very stiff headwind for real estate. So everybody thinks real estate is an inflation hedge. Um, certain certain in, um, real estate will be. I think farmland might might do well because I expect ag commodities to do well next cycle. But mm -hmm. housing, I think in general, if you've got mortgage rates going from, you know, two or three percent up to fifteen percent, you know what that does to, you know, people are buying houses on totally. a monthly payment basis. And that's gonna, you know, drive the monthly payment up through the roof. So something has to give and I think it's gonna be housing prices. Do you want to know one thing about crypto? I made over 3000% in profit in a few weeks. Fact is, the traditional financial system, the traditional money system makes you poor, not rich. If you want to earn 500,000, 1 million dollar, you have to wait until you're 50, 60, 70 in the traditional financial system and you probably will still be broke. And you will be old. This is not a sexy combination as you can imagine. But the question is, how can you start in crypto and make these profits? Where to invest? Where to start? My name is Gunnar and I'm from Germany as you can hear and things are a little bit different in Germany. More about that later on. The fact is, there are lots of different cryptocurrencies. It's a gigantic universe where beginners and professionals get easily lost. But there is light at the end of the tunnel. There are seven key steps you need to follow to become successful in this market. You have to know them and if you fail one of them, it's literally impossible to succeed in this market. Just an example, one of the key points is your exchange and one of the biggest are for example Binance and Coinbase. These are trusted and well established exchanges but, and this is a big but, you won't find the super profitable coins on those exchanges. The unknown super profitable coins that get gigantic profits are not traded 
on those kind of exchanges. They are traded on much smaller insider platforms that are barely known. And I can tell you what those super secret exchanges are and why they are so profitable. And another super important thing are the right information sources. The point is, the internet is gigantic. There are hundreds and hundreds of YouTube channels, blogs, pages and much, much more. And there are also market makers and influencers. For example, Elon Musk, he is not a crypto guy. But the moment he recommended Dogecoin, it went through the roof, to the moon, so to say. But why did he recommend it? Where did he hear it from? He didn't hear it from newspapers. And believe me, he is listening to someone. But you have to know who and you have to react before he is reacting. This is really, really important. And these are only two of the seven steps you have to follow in order to be successful in crypto. And if you want to know all of these steps in much more detail, and if you want to have a comprehensive checklist, here's what you should do. There is a link below this video. Click on this link and you will get the opportunity to subscribe to my channel. Click on the link and you will see a video where I explain the next steps. So see you soon. Click on the link now. I'll see you there.